All right, guys, so the main reason why I haven't been doing uh, videos in my car is that sometimes people be like, oh, I can't hear you, blah, blah, blah. But this message is on my mind and I gotta holler at y'all about it, like, today. I'm literally, was try I was literally trying to find like a, a nice, quiet park to kind of do my thug dizzle at. But unfortunately, I woke up late and people are out and about doing shit. So you got random niggas cutting grass and then you got random mamas that are uh, yelling at their kids, telling them to come inside or go outside or whatever the fuck. So, but let me get into the video though, man. What it do is your boy Moody Star. And I'm back again with another video. If you new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful matrix. All right, so first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. So yeah, I'm just apologizing ahead of time, just in case the audio isn't too uh, up up to par. But I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that. So hopefully you you guys can hear me. But yeah, bro. So what's on my spirit to talk about today is the fact that uh, when you practice your SR journey, you're doing what you do. And um, you're dealing with uh, different females in different situations. What you're gonna realize is that when y'all decide to get quote unquote intimate, there's like a fine line between high vibrational intimacy and low vibrational demonic ass kind of actions. You can tell, like in other words, there's good and bad in, in all of us, right? But uh, there's times because again, this is like a dark side to semen retention. There are times that if you are hanging out with a female, or whatever, you know, just like you as a nat like you being a natural guy, you're gonna have like natural urges to want to just do shit. Or sometimes, you know, you wanna you wanna just do some low vibrational shit as far as sex is concerned. But with SR, it teaches us how to basically control that. And the more you are working on yourself and you're controlling that every day, you learn how to master your urge every single day. You're not coming, you're not like giving into it. Inside of you, there's a beast. And this beast is becoming wild, okay? This beast is like, you, cause you, ha you essentially have tamed the beast within you. You're not feeding the beast all the time with your life force energy type shit or just like, you know, other people's uh, thought forms to manipulate you into doing some low vibrational shit. So with you being on semen retention and going days and days without doing nothing, you know, say sexual, you are literally creating a monster within you. You are creating the beast within inside you. That random burst of energy that you're gonna get sometimes when you do, when, whether it's just a regular day, you're vibing, um, that's the beast. That's the beast wanting to come out and play. So what happens is women who, anyone who's been following you or her, or who's been like, you know what I'm saying, kind of been talking to you and shit like that. Turn on the AC a little bit. Um, they feel that presence of the beast within. They feel like, man, it's just something about this guy. Like, I just want you to, uh, like, dude, like, give it to me, give it to me type shit. You can see it in their face. What you have to be aware of, though, is the fact that it can go from intimate, like, high vibrational sex to some, some, like, basically, both of y'all might end up being on demon time. Because what happens is, like, is this motherfucker gonna stop? God damn! Motherfuckers don't know how to drive out here, cuz. Anyway, what happens is y'all both get intertwined within, you know, the sexual activity. Boom, you're having a sexual activity. Uh, everything is going great. Before you know it, you will see a look on her face where she's just telling you to, she might be telling you to do some, like, she might tell you to, like, yo, go harder. Oh, please don't stop. Go harder. Go harder. Oh, do some, you feel me? Do some wild stuff. You feel me? Like y'all know what it is when 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 it comes to y'all having a good session of being intimate. But this is why I like this, this is another thing too. This is why I like to do shit sober because you know I I still re, I be retaining a lot of information and I like to keep my mind clear. 
it's good. All right, put it like this. Women, it's going to get to a point where they can't, they won't be able to hide the fact that they are really um, into, you know, sex. And not only just like regular sex, like they're, they, they can't hide the fact that they want to experience the beast within you. You feel me? You're not like thirsty or anything like that. Hold on, give me a second. I can do some real nigga shit real quick. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're not thirsty like that. You're not willing with your energy. So if you're not careful, bro, you might you might be turning some of these good girls bad, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you because they got because they never experienced that type of energy before. They never experienced that. It's like, yeah, okay, he's tall, dark, handsome, or he's light skinned and handsome, whatever the fuck you is. You know what I'm saying? You're doing your thug dizzle, and what happens is she's gonna experience your whole body when it comes. And I'm just I'm strictly talking about like when you get or decide to become intimate. Again, it's a thin line between high vibrational sex and low vibrational activities, bro. It's a thin fucking line. And you can lose yourself within the actions. That's why some people think like, oh, well, you know, uh, I, I am ready for this type of, uh, I am ready for this type of uh, activity. Oh, I'm not. What the fuck is going on out here? Hold on, bro. A whole bunch of like random shit is going on. What the fuck y'all doing? What the hell is... Sorry, bro. I'm trying to get some gas, and niggas is like. All right, yeah, I gotta go to a different gas station. But yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Um, yeah, I definitely gotta go to. What the fuck y'all doing? What is this Black Friday for the for, for gas, nigga? Like, look at this person. All right, hold on, man. Oh, that's why that bitch. It's cheap as fuck over here. My bad, bro. I'm over here trying to get gas and shit. Motherfuckers is, uh... I don't even know what the hell. Alright. Oh, perfect. Is this even open? This shit probably not even on. Let me see. Oh, shit. It's on. We, we lit. Alright, y'all. I might have to, uh, double back with y'all to finish this topic but now let me finish so what was i yeah um they are going to you're going to notice when while you're having sex with uh, a female um she's going to try to summon your inner beast i say don't be so quick to show it to her bro don't be so quick to give her the you know give her that give her that like with something that like really is gonna make her go crazy because a lot of these females will go crazy i don't care how nice how cool how calm collected some of these females are bro they will go crazy over your energy bro when you decide to share it with them and you can tell all right so boom you can tell like if it's like high vibrational or you can tell if it's like some shit where it's just like uh you are just you're just you're just looking at me like a piece of meat, low key. If you're, I'm not one to really talk when it comes to being intimate and shit like that. But uh, if you ever notice while you're being intimate with the female, after, and this is after a while and not doing nothing, that's the that's the effect of it. When you're not doing anything, when you're actually holding on to your seat type shit, like bro, your energy hits different period just anything that you say anything that you do it hits different so what's going to happen is some of these women will turn psycho once you give them a little bit of the d they will turn psycho so you have to be aware that's why i say please be careful of what you do i wouldn't even recommend casually having sex with women because i'm telling you right now it's just gonna be nothing but problems that rotation shit is just gonna be nothing but problems nothing but issues so the best thing that i would tell y'all is again know your partner know who you're talking to um if you don't know if she's if she's if she's quick to want to have sex with you bro all all honesty aside i mean all all true well all bs aside i'm sorry 
if she really wants to have sex with you out the gate type shit, bro, like, you gotta understand that, um, that might have been, like, a, she, she's probably being, uh, ridden by, um, an entity, bro, and you would never know, nah, you would know, but if she's quick to want to have sex with you, that's not, it's not, it's not her, you feel me, it's, it's her, inner self wanting wanting to experience the beast within you bro yo i'm for the end of the video let me get some gas i'll be right back with part two peace